Hi, I'm John, and I will be presenting our work on symptom wheel matching for a soft robotic fish prototype using differentiable simulation. As roboticists, we often look to nature for inspiration. We like to produce robots that can mimic the same soft deformations as animals. As designers, we often face an overwhelming number of decisions for a soft robotic system. These can include material selection and choice of geometry. For our soft robotic fish, this includes the selection of silicone and the material for the spine, as well as the number of chambers for pneumatic actuation. Simulation is a great tool during the design process. However, to achieve Good accuracy of simulation of soft bodies is challenging with unknown parameters. These material parameters, such as Young's modulus and Poisson ratio, have to be carefully measured and tuned, which can be a time-consuming and expensive activity. When done correctly, simulation can match real prototypes even at large deformations when material uh, effects such as buckling can occur. We have developed an experimental test rig for our soft robotic fish that includes pneumatic actuation, marker tracking to measure deformation, and a load cell to measure thrust force. Using the setup, we are able to gather data that we can feed into our automatic material identification pipeline. After material identification, we find that symptom wheel matching is good, even at large quasi-static deformations. We find that even for dynamic actuation, accuracy can be maintained. And we show this for a variety of prototypes. The method we use to do material identification is to do a gradient-based search over the fish's material parameters using fast differentiable simulation. We demonstrate that using a gradient-based method, we can converge in less iterations than gradient-free methods. After material identification, we find that dynamic actuation and simulation matches our prototypes to within 0.5%. We close the loop using a neural network predictor to predict thrust in simulation. Finally, we believe that this method can be extended to larger parameter sets. Thank you for your attention.